Wow, that is awesome. A really fun way to stay active during the winter is to do some tobogganing as we're going to do today here in Strawberry Hills. Fortunately tobogganing is still legal in Saskatchewan. In many other parts of the country it is deemed illegal. The main concern as to why it's not legal is that there's a concern that there's many injuries associated with tobogganing. Therefore it's really important to be aware of all the safety recommendations as per your specific city bylaw. Please check in with your city bylaws before you do any of the tobogganing. This video is not an official guide to tobogganing, but it shows you how we go about respecting the local bylaws as well as enjoying ourselves on the slopes. Remember always to make safety your priority when you're out on the slopes with tobogganing. We have been really fortunate to share this experience of tobogganing on our slopes with many friends and family over the years and these are some of the images from those experiences. So this is a list of a few essential items that you are going to need to be able to go tobogganing. Firstly, you're going to need a toboggan itself. Now this is a really inexpensive, practical toboggan that we picked up at uh, Canadian Tire for just a few dollars. It's really just a pre-formed uh, sheet of plastic with a slightly raised or rounded edge in the front just to help you to get over the snow. It's really basic, it's really easy to use and uh, it's almost indestructible. The next thing is you're going to need a helmet. I'm going to use one of these Louis Garneau uh, time trial helmets. They do recommend that you use something a bit more sturdy but I'm not going to go that fast and I'm not going to do that much serious tobogganing. So for me as an adult a uh, cycling helmet will definitely be appropriate. Also to use really strong gloves, warm gloves uh, because as your hands get rubbed against the top of the snow it can take the skin off your knuckles and that can be a bit uncomfortable it just also looks a little bit uh, dodgy to have bleeding hands on the on the snow also make sure that you have a good set of boots nice firm uh, warm boots to be able to um, survive the the cold and make sure that you don't develop any frostbite i'm using a large puffy jacket you can see the puffy jacket just helps to insulate me it gives me lots of uh, insulation against the cold absolutely essential to prevent hypothermia just make sure that you have appropriate clothing for children if you go outside with them to keep them nice and warm lastly make sure you have good eyewear protection because as you go down the slope sometimes the little bits of ice can sometimes uh, spray into your eyes and might cause an injury i've mapped out where i'm going to go tobogganing i'm going to just use this bit of a slope there's absolutely no obstacles there is a well, but that well is quite a distance off. It's going to be quite out of the way, and I don't think I'm going to have any concern with that as an obstruction. Okay, I think I'm going to call it today. That was an awesome ride. Until the next time, I'm going to say cheers to all of you. Goodbye. So stay safe as you stay at home and try to be active during the COVID-19 shutdown period. Stay safe and enjoy yourselves out on the slopes. Until the next time, cheers. So if you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you would like to see similar content in future, please subscribe to our channel. Until the next time we speak, cheers, enjoy yourself, bye.